Welcome back. Well, the swearing-in of cabinet members of Lesotho's coalition partners, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, that include Deputy Prime Minister Moteshwa Metzing, has gone ahead. Now, this is despite opposition calls that his appointment undermines the king. And for more on these developments, we now talk to our reporter, Palisa Mweti, who is in the Mountain Kingdom's capital, Maseru. Palisa, a very good afternoon to you. Now, the country's new opposition parties have threatened to protest should Minister of Defence at Zidi Somukosi take oath of office. What transpired in today's ceremony? Well, good afternoon, Alicia. Actually, this is Mutakwana instead oh, of Palisa. Thank but, you. Um, yes, indeed, the new opposition, as we call them now, the uh, former prime minister or outgoing prime minister from Tavani's Obasutu Convention, the Basutu National Party, as well as the Reformed Congress of Lesotho, have indeed threatened to protest because they're saying that Metin and members of his party have disrespected the king by backing the attorney general when he sued him. And, of course, they were saying that they're doing that because they feel the king was ill-advised, first of all, on the appointment of the president of the, court of, of the Court of Appeal, as well as the closure of parliament in June. And they've come out, and um, the opposition now is saying that that was disrespectful, disrespectful of the king. But uh, the swearing in did, the swearing did go ahead. And um, we saw the king smiling as people were clapping, of course, with hearing them say that they are pledging their allegiance to him. Alicia. Mm. Ntagwana, now, just how fragile to the peace processes are these threats, Palisa? I mean, the fact that the opposition parties call the appointment of Deputy Prime Minister Motejo Metzing as undermining the king. What possible spin-offs will these developments have in the country in general? Well, Alicia, um, today's events, I think, will speak a different story because, as you know, we saw the swearing in today of the whole cabinet that has now been appointed by a new prime minister, Paralita Mukusidi. And we're talking about uh, 35 ministers and deputy ministers. And also now, as I talk to you, um, at, the, at the Sadak House, where facilitator, Sadak facilitator, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, will be closing the Sadak mission here in the city. We suppose signaling that things have gone right in the country in terms of bringing the country back to normality. But, of course, what he has to say and what the Prime Minister will say and what the Executive Secretary of SADC, Segomina Tex, will say will also add to what we think has actually transpired here in the city. And a lot of people expecting them to talk especially about the security situation, but also particularly on the return and who will be the head of the army and the head of the police following this facilitation by SADC. Alicia? The new Prime Minister, how is the relationship between the army and police? Well, on the ground, they have been working together. And from what we understand, when Sadak facilitator Sir Ramaphosa was here the last time following the elections here in Lesotho, there are cordial relations between the two arms. And of course, at the moment, they're headed by the assistants or by the deputies who were put in place when the commanders were taken were taken on leaves of absence out of the country to go to other countries while the political situation was being resolved in the social. And they have come out to say that they've been working well. And uh, But, of course, we have yet to see uh, what happens with the new dispensation that comes into power uh, this week. Now, when... Uh, Deputy Prime Minister now, Mateja Metin, spoke at the announcement of the coalition that is now governing the city. He said as far as they were concerned, Kadika Mudi, who was fired by former Prime Minister Tom Tabani, was for the commander of the Lesotho Defence Force. But as I say, what Musisibi says about that today, what Sadak says about that today, and uh, what, the facilitator, what the facilitator says about it today will determine uh, which, which direction it all takes. Alicia? Thank you so much for that. That's our reporter, Ntakwan Ngatane, talking to us about the closing ceremony, marking an end to the facilitation mission following the successful Sadak intervention, which culminated, of course, in the recently held elections that were declared credible, free and fair by election observers. Ntakwana spoke to us live from Maseru in Lesotho.